Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, what I want to do is take you back to mission number 10, the sorting center. I did not feel I did a good job explaining that and showing you how that mission can be done. I, I kind of goofed up that whole unused capacity one too, and I just, I did a redo on that one too. So what I want to do today is take you back to the sorting center, kind of clear our minds and get that, that mission focused in, razor sharp, just to, so you can see the points again, but the way the setup is gonna be and how you might tackle getting that mission done or getting the containers to use for other missions. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so again, I wanna take a look at mission number 10, the sorting center. It's a setup that you need to understand the ref is going to set those containers up. I, on the first video, said that you could set it up the way you want it to, and the ref will set those containers up. Again, the blue is going to be at the very bottom of a bay. Uh, the orange will be in the middle, and the lime green will be at the top, and they can rearrange that how they want. So I was mistaken to think that, that you can set that up and just you know pick and choose what you want. So today what I want to do is show you, because I thought I owe it to you guys, to be able to know how you can pick up those containers regardless of those, the setup and where those colors are. And then we can talk about strategy, about what to do with that. And it was really cool because I got to talk to Coach Oliver from the Tech Warriors. We actually got a chance to sit down and talk about, you know, kind of the strategy for that mission and what you do with those containers and what would be a wise thing to do with those containers because of the way the mission is, they only give you 20 points if you remove the blue and that lime green container. And we were talking, thinking, you know what? There should be a better way to get points with those containers. So what I want to do in this video is also show you, hey, should we settle for those 20 points and take those two containers out or take all of them and possibly use them to get more points in other missions? So if you want to see that, let's go to the table. Okay guys, so for the sorting center, the RAF will be able to put these containers wherever they want. Um, the blue would have to be at the bottom. It could be here or here or here. The orange has to be in the middle, but you know, in the middle of either bay. The green needs to be at the top of either bay. So this program, I just have the robot coming towards the middle bay here to pick up whatever container is there, no matter if it's in the middle or at the front, or I have this program right now coming all the way down to this one here. So what I'll do is just run uh, different programs to come to this bay or this bay, the same way that we did this one. So let's check that out. So if we take a look at this robot here, um, I put this white beam right here so that when this comes down, it has it at the perfect height to come right in between the container, the top part and the bottom part. Because, you know, you can just never get, you know, an accurate coming down. And so this prevents these uh, axles from going down any further. And that should be at the perfect height to pick this thing up. So let's check that out. So it would have grabbed it no matter where it was in, you know, the position, either at the front or in the middle. And what we now have is another container now to be able to get points with. So what we can do now is take that blue container and to try to put it into that circle for 20. We can put it in this cargo connect for 10. Um, What's just really difficult with the sorting center is, you know, if you get rid of the, the green and the blue, it's only worth 20. And it, you might as well just bring as many as you can back and use those for extra points. You 
know, if just one of them goes through there, that's fine. Don't need both of them to go through there to snatch that up, obviously. There's a delay there because I had put a five second um, lifting of that motor for that gray one. So that's why there was a delay there. And there we go. Okay, here we go. The last one. Beautiful. And obviously I added, you know, 200 degrees on the, the backup here because it's going to be farther. Really consistent. Really, really happy with this program and these new motors. Fantastic. Good job. Okay, so now the green container here is at the front and we'll get it just like we did the other ones. Perfect. And this is the one where, well, we didn't need that uh, delay or that second motor, the medium motor coming up. That one came up pretty nicely. And again, now we can use that green container to go into that circle for more points than I think it would have been worth to just do the sorting center. Because again, that sorting center was only 20 points. We can get more points from these containers using them somewhere else. Okay, this arm wasn't coming up before, so I had to do another arm come up after. There we go. Just wasn't picking it up after the first one, so I had to put in a second one. There we go. Okay, let's go get this last green container. Right through the middle. Perfect. Now this is a case again where that medium motor didn't go up the first time, so I have it back up, and then the medium motor can come up. There you go. Perfect. Great job. So our sorting center is done right now. And so, again, that's still going to be the difficult part is not knowing where each of the containers are. But with this program here, it doesn't matter. You know, we can still get the front, middle, or back. Um, and, you know, we now can use these containers, like I said, to put them into containers for more points than we would have if we had just left this orange container there for the 20 points. That's a lot of work. So what we can do now is use that same program to get this orange one if, you know, the ref puts it into the that position. Okay, so I put the orange container here in the middle. Let's go ahead and pick that up. It 
should go right through the middle there. There should be another five second wait, but that again was for the containers that are at the front. So obviously you can make it less. Beautiful job. So again, what's really nice is that it's perfectly level to be able to go right through in between the top part and bottom part of the container. So you can see I can be a little off and it'll still pick that up. And again, now instead of you know, leaving that there, taking the blue and the green, no matter, you know, where the ref puts that, I can now use this um, orange container now to get points somewhere else and to hopefully be, you know, get more points than if I had just left it there. right through the middle. Ooh, this is the one where, ooh. See, that's where I'm glad I put that extra medium motor coming up, because sometimes it does get stuck for some reason. So I put it in right after it backs up. Fantastic. Let's now go ahead and put a container in the very front. Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking. I know, I know you're thinking, Mr. Hino, we're not gonna come to these three bays all in separate trips, and I totally agree. So what I thought I would do is try to get at least two of those containers. So instead of coming at these bays individually, what I thought I would do is come at it in the middle to be able to pick up at least two of these. So in this one here, I'm gonna come down the middle right there and pick up these two, no matter where they would be. You know, this green wood could be here. This orange one could stay there. It doesn't matter. This one's gonna pick up two at a time. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay. Might be too heavy for it to, I have the motor coming up, but this might be too heavy, but it's okay. I programmed it so that this thing will swing over when it gets into home. There we go. So we have our blue and I guess orange containers there. Let's now go back and let's try to modify the program to now pick up maybe what's in these two bays. Okay, I had to add a little extension onto this part right here because the robot was getting stuck right here and it wasn't gonna allow him to go completely through this blue one. So I had to add a little bit extra length to that one. But let's check this one out. Perfect. Okay, just like the other one, the motor, I guess, is just not strong enough to lift that, which is okay, because in the program I have this swiveling around and I don't think it should mess up anything.
Real nice. And there we go. So we now are able to get two at a time. So that's better than just one at a time. And, you know, we can use those now again for what we want. Possibly the blue circle, the cargo connect circle, this close circle right there, the green circle. So options start to open up for your team and points can accumulate if we start to bring these containers back. Okay guys, so hopefully that cleared it up for you guys. Hopefully now you're able to see, okay, I can see how the setup could be whatever way the ref wants it to be. Now I know how my robot should be able to pick up the containers no matter where they are in that bay. So, you know, and some of you might decide, hey, you know what, it's just it's too much. I don't even want to go there. And that's, that's your choice too. And the beauty about this, again, is the collaboration with your teams to decide, hey, you know, do we go over there? It's really far. Do we tackle that? You know, those points can be very lucrative if we can get those containers and use them for something else. So your options are wide open and that's the beauty about this robot game is deciding what you guys want to do and what you don't do. So hopefully that helped. A shout out again to Coach Oliver and the Tech Warriors for helping, you know, just brainstorm that through. They did some amazing things over there in Novi, Michigan. So I just want to give them a shout out again. I appreciate Coach Oliver and all the information and just cool sit down and talk with him about their teams. Oh, I forgot the bullfrogs too. I just love the, the themes that they go with. So it's, um, again, hopefully you're having fun and just collaborating with your teams on how to get these missions done. It's a really fun board this year. I just really like it. And my best wishes to you guys as you move forward in your season, no matter when that is or how that's going to look like, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.